What is up guys? Today we're going to talk about the new DJI FPV drone that is coming out on March 2nd and we'll talk about why I know it's definitely going to be an FPV drone. So let's get to it. What is up everyone? My name is James and this is the Engineering Filmmaker where we talk about photo, video, travel, and tech. If these are topics you are interested in, I think you should press the button down below. So DJI had an announcement for March 2nd, which is in about a week, and they are releasing a new drone. And they tried to make it all secretive, but there's a lot of stuff that came out that shows exactly what it is. Uh, first of all, they gave us a little teaser trailer that kind of just shows us exactly that it's an FPV drone. And then there was actually somebody who released an unboxing video that I'll try to find the link and put it in the description for you. So we, we know what it is, and we've been seeing it coming for about the past week and a half. So I want to talk about today some of the cool features that I believe will be in this drone. Some of these things I can physically see by the research I've done and pictures I found online. And some of these things I can just assume that DJI will put in this as well as let's talk about the pricing. First, let's talk about the controller. So the controller looks kind of like a Xbox or PS4, PS5 controller. It it's pretty simple. The goggles seem to be the same goggles you can buy on their website, the version two of their DJI FPV goggles. The biggest thing is the drone itself. Uh, so if we look at some pictures of it, it's actually quite large. So this is a regular FPV drone. It's pretty small, as you can see, it's pretty similarly sized to the size of my hand. And you can also get ones that are smaller and some that are slightly bigger, but this is a pretty large FPV drone in my opinion. Your battery would go on top and then your GoPro as well, so it would be a little bit higher. But as we can tell from the pictures of this new FPV drone, it's actually going to be pretty big, pretty unique looking design. It's got kind of a large hump on the front that I'm, I would imagine holds all of the internals and then the back is the battery that is removable uh, so you can use multiple batteries. So what makes this FPV drone special? Well, let's talk about the first two things that we can clearly see. It has one camera on it and no place to put a GoPro. So you can assume that you're not going to need an external camera to put on the drone. You're probably going to see and be able to record through the same camera. Uh, however, there are two sensors down below. These sensors are most likely sensors so you don't run into things that you shouldn't. As well as I would imagine there'd be maybe some more sensors on the bottom. Uh, from the pictures I've seen, I don't see any on the sides, and as for the back, the battery comes out from the back, so I doubt there's any sensors there. But at least we have forward-facing vision sensors, most likely, so you don't run into things. You're also, with the camera, most likely going to get some type of gimbal action where the camera will have some sort of stabilization so that the picture looks really good. Uh, the next thing I want to talk about is the intelligent flight modes. I took this out for the first time after not flying it for an entire year and I crashed it in the snow. It was very hard to fly even with practice on an application I use on my computer. But just imagine you spend over a grand on this and then you crash it because you don't know how to fly it. So you're most likely going to have some intelligent flight modes that I would imagine range from beginner to intermediate to advanced flying modes so you can learn how to fly FPV with this drone as well as become sort of an expert and not need any help while you're flying. But it would be nice to have some intelligent flight modes where it hovers when you stop giving it throttle uh, or when you just stop giving any commands it just hovers as well just like the other drones from DJI do. I would imagine this would be some type of beginner mode and then if you turned off these modes I would imagine it would just be free form and it would just do whatever you want like a regular FPV drone. So that's kind of where some of the cost and all this extra stuff is going to come into play because a drone like this only costs about $550. Let's talk about how much this might cost. Um, this might cost something around $1,500 or more dollars, maybe for like the base package. So I did a little bit of research on DJI's website and you can actually buy a bunch of things that DJI makes as well as some other brands to make your own FPV drone just like this. And this is kind of how I got my analysis of how much the actual FPV drone might cost. You can get some goggles, which also come with their version and it costs $570. Uh, the remote is a little different, so you could just say maybe $150 to $300. The DJI FPV Air Unit, which is the camera module and transmission system for $180. 
some controllers for the drone itself, for flight controllers, etc., the body, and some other miscellaneous items. You're looking around $1,300 just to build your own drone like this using DJI's system for their headset and their camera. So just imagine if you have to spend that much money building your own FPV drone that doesn't have any special features other than having DJI goggles, imagine how much it's going to cost when they have all these special features, sensors, and design into one drone. You can get a drone like this. I built this for 550. You can get ones as low as $300 or maybe even less pre-built. Uh, or you could spend $1,500 on a setup from DJI that will actually help you fly and not crash like I did. So it's really dependent on if you are a beginner or you really know what you're doing. One of the reasons I didn't fly this is because I was scared of crashing it because it's really hard to fly. So having one that you know how to fly might make you want to go fly it more. I think for $1,500, it's a great price for what you're getting. If it costs any more than that, um, it's really hard to say because you can buy a Mavic 2 Pro for that much. So it just really depends on what your purposes are. If you don't have an actual drone already, uh, you might get more use out of a regular drone than an FPV drone. We will see in about a week in time what the actual specs are, what some cool features that might have gotten put into it that I didn't mention here. But that's really it for today, guys. And I'll see you on the next one.